Let's go back at this monster. Let's go work. Let's get to work. This drawing isn't gonna draw itself. So now I'm doing a kind of hint of a twisting maybe muscle underneath the limb. And now I'm doing these like squiggly things between the segments to indicate how they bend and stuff. So now comes the real deal problem because these legs have one more segment below them. So we're just going to have to invent that part. This is like a gnarly serrated kind of claw. It looks like this, full of scales, just very rough in texture. I wonder if I could attach a lens here to make this camera look more focused. Oh no, <laughs> it works the exact opposite way. So now I'm going to draw, I'm going to do a little trick. So there's going to be two of these claws. But one of them is going to be extended like so. Yeah. So we can see maybe this thing is giving a hefty kick or just it just happens to move that way. So this is the second kicker leg extended like so. We are going to go in with a uh, a black marker by the way trivia this particular black marker the Copic marker you see here uh, my father and I purchased purchased this in 2001 so this marker is 23 years old it's still working the trick is to store it horizontally. Don't store, it, store them vertically. If you have to carry pens, carry them with the tips pointing downwards. So yeah, I love this one. And these are refillable too, so I'm gonna get a refill for this. It's got uh, emotional value at this stage. Spinonicus says, the marker is older than I am. Ah, to be that young. You don't know how lucky you are. So here there's a little mistake, but that's okay. We're gonna use the paint marker here, uh, like a Tipex a correction pen almost. Oh shit, the cap flew off. So yeah, these white acrylic paint markers, they are very good for correcting mistakes when you're just drawing in black and white. Let me actually show you how this thing looks now. So feast, drink it in everybody. Okay, let's draw the four feet now. So this is more dedicated to digging than anything else. So it's gonna be like this. There's always a bulbous section. This can dig as well as run. So this, like so, but with a smaller claw. Now this is a purely running leg, so actually this section is gonna be recessed into that notch, like so. And it's gonna be just purely a running thing. This one is a kind of broad, earth-gripping, like main trust leg kind of stuff. So Now we're going to cheat a little. These legs I'm just going to duplicate digitally and move them around like a, a paper puppet, a paper doll. And then I'll, I'll be able to pose them separately. Now, normally I don't do this, but this is a complicated guy, so I'm just gonna just bear with me with that. And if you support me on patreon.com, patreon.com, you'll be able to see the finished version too, with colors and everything. So, 
just gonna give a kind of like scaly texture to this abdomen here or this pseudo abdomen whatever it is I made a mistake here these top lines are a bit too heavy but no need to worry I got my this is not the acrylic marker this is just a tipex marker so just gonna edge them edging became a naughty term huh just gonna edge them a little and let's actually give it some hairs too like yeah some sort of a shaggy abdomen action going here this is gonna look really nice on the time-lapse video i post on instagram later on so make sure to follow me on instagram.com slash cmcozman too okay so these last segments they're gonna be a bit darker than the rest of the leg obviously so we're just gonna do basically we're gonna take the thinnest pencil possible and just do shading just do cross lines uh, i believe the correct term is etching not etching sorry just shading oh lots of nice comments so jacob says i remember how you can you remember how you used to draw as a young child i remember making stick figure dinosaurs how did the transition between stick figures and shapes i never drew stick figures like if you go to my website go to cmkozman.com slash childhood.html and you'll see my childhood art there like i was two or three and the first drawings i was making were actually like weird spirals and stuff like that i always had like things with volume i mean let me get a blank piece here okay the, the first drawings i ever made i, I remember they were like things like this i like doing spirals and then like stuff like this i know this because my parents saved them up and and then i when i was doing creatures these turned into things like uh like this or like something with four legs i it always started with silhouettes for me no stick figures in fact only after i started school and i saw all the kids doing stick figures i was like <laughs> There's also a trick, basically you, you hold the drawing against the light source so you see it flipped. So when you see it flipped, uh, you can maybe realize small mistakes that you don't otherwise get to see, like this here. And let me also draw some like little rocks and debris as if it, they're kicked up by the creature now we're also going to lay down a shadow field and this is just like a long etched line like so so in post-production i'm just going to take these shadows and place them below the creature's legs but i'm not drawing them over the creature now because i don't want it to mess with post-production when i'm posing the legs like puppets later on so i'm just drawing a long shadow line here basically this is like a model kit so like you take the pieces out snap them together combine them that's how it works and this is really nice like you're basically laying down fields of shading with your pen the sort of fine tuning it's really the most relaxing part of the drawing because now the main heavy work is finished you don't have to deal with exact anatomical details what's left is only the the details which are always fun so i think this is ready now let's say let's write our provenance simon royce altamira look 
no matter how simple you make things you always need to write down what they're for and like text brings art alive oh this pen ran out chinese dragon kicker creature and then my sign cm kozman 2023 march uh third live stream so you see what we did here we are creating a document and a physical artifact for basically people to like this is really important in this day and age oh fuck it's 2024 yeah <laughs> silly me oh, then i made all these mistakes too i have two other drawings here which i'm not gonna show because you have to go on patreon to see them but yeah i signed them 2023 too yeah and then I take my book sign signature stamp. Boom, this is a work file now. And let me show you from the Ten in it, 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 ten in it